Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be cracking on with Steve's office again. It's absolutely miserable outside, which means it's the perfect day to do DIY. Um, we're hoping to pretty much get this room nearly finished. Hello. Um, but first I wanna to talk to you about today's video sponsor, which is 24 seven blinds. I've spoken to you guys quite a few times before about the special kind of needs of Steve's office. He does a lot of content creation, so obviously acoustics was a ma major thing for us, but also kind of lighting as well. We wanted to make sure we got really, really good quality blackout blinds to go in that room. And obviously, if you've seen the room already, you'll know how awkward the size of the windows are in there. So we needed something that was like bespoke sizing, really good quality and really good kind of blackout abilities so 24 7 blinds reached out to me um they wanted me to share and review some stuff with you so it's all arrived i've actually got two blinds for steve's office and also also a blind for our bedroom as well i've already opened the one for our bedroom so i'm going to show you that now i haven't actually opened the blackout blinds yet so i'm going to do that with you guys but let me talk you through what i got so if you guys have seen our very quick um kind of bedroom makeover you would have seen that we did put up, put up some curtains in there our our house isn't that overlooked but it is like i don't know we just wanted like an extra element of privacy in that room but not compromising on the light so let me show you this blind this is their crystalline wall i, I don't know if i can say that right wall um roller blind um so I've held this up to the window. This is ingenious. So as you can see, you can't see through this blind. So you get ultimate privacy, but it doesn't filter out the light. So for example, if you're wanting to get changed and you want it to be light in the room, you don't want to have to have all of your lights on, you want natural daylight, but you want a bit of privacy, this blind is actual magic. And I'm honestly so, so happy with how this turned out um again that the window that we have in our bedroom is like a really awkward non-standard size so that's why 24 7 blinds is perfect because you can basically put in your exact measurements and they will manufacture it to the exact size of your windows for a really really good price um it's really really easy as well because they have so many kind of different tips guidance as to how to fit your blinds how to measure them so it definitely kind of takes the stress away of whether you're getting it right or not because they very much kind of take you through the process and make it really really simple in terms of color options and stuff there is so much on the site honestly like if you have something in particular in mind i'm sure they'll have it because there's just so much stuff but they have free samples as well i ordered about a million different samples because i'm really indecisive but they came super quick. They come within a matter of days um, and they're all free, so you can order as many as you want. But yeah, I was obviously like a little bit dubious about this one, but it is, I've held it up and I can't wait to install it because I just think it's gonna be life-changing. So that is the bedroom one that we got. And then obviously I said I got two for Steve's office, which I haven't unpacked yet. Ooh. Ooh. okay i don't know how well this is going to pick this up on camera so this is one of i obviously got two of the same roller blind to go in his office this is the trinity blackout roller blind and i got it in the color platinum the reason i really like this one is firstly the quality of the fabric but it doesn't look like cheap or anything it looks really i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it has like a very slight kind of it looks like it's like a cottony effect like it's nice and textured really really nice i was toying with the idea of just getting the pure white one but i saw this kind of really nice off off white kind of gray color and i thought this would be perfect obviously you guys would have seen that we are going for like a white and dark so i thought this would break it up a little bit it's really really good quality also you do have the option with um these kind of the pulley bits to go for like white or chrome or whatever i just went with white because i thought it'd blend in a little bit better but so so happy with how these turned out they're really really nice um so yeah i will link the ones that i got 
down in the description um, in case you guys want to go check them out. They've also given me a discount code to share with you guys as well. So that will also be down in the description box. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to install these. So obviously I'll be sharing them with you again once they're up and we can sort of fully review how good they are and everything. But really, really happy. You guys know that the bit that I absolutely love is doing all the, like the final touch bits, not so much the DIY. <laughs> so it's nice to kind of get some bits that are actually going to style the room up and I can kind of see it coming together. So yeah everything will be linked down in the description box if you have any questions ask away but for now we need to go to b&q pick up a couple of bits um and then we're going to come back and crack on with the room okay so we've been out grabbed all the bits that we need just a very very quick update in case anyone hasn't seen the last video we had this radiator removed you can see the size difference very clearly there um the guy who replaced the radiator actually pulled off most of the wallpaper because it wasn't really stuck properly but we have a couple of little bits to remove before we can kind of touch up that paintwork this is where they removed and then chased in the light fitting so there was a plug socket there which originally sat above the desk they had built in but it wasn't chased into the wall it was just kind of had this plastic casing around it so we asked them to remove it and kind of chase it into the wall and we've just changed the position of it ever so slightly. So it's kind of the same sort of height as this one over here. But Steve needs a lot of um, plug sockets for like his desk set up. So um, the electricians filled that in when they did it. I added a little bit more filler just to kind of smooth it out. So I don't think it's quite dry yet. But we're just going to need to sand that down before we do any painting. Again here there's like bits of wallpaper underneath where they had that plastic casing. Which we need to kind of remove um and then so i shared this with you guys the other day basically when i painted this room i didn't have frog tape hello mr milo you're not meant to be in here <laughs> um so i've done this kind of half height paint loads and when i've done edges i've always used frog tape and i swear by it when we painted this room i thought i had some and i didn't and honestly the tape that I had was awful. Look at all of this bleed through. I had so many comments from you guys basically saying that there was loads of tips about um, you can do a layer of white first, you can use like some cork or something like that, whatever. I've never ever needed to do that before. So what I'm gonna do is actually I've bought some frog tape now and I'm gonna retape this and just bring this line up a little bit higher just so that we get a crisp line because I am not happy with how that turned out. But if anyone is looking to do something like this, my recommendation is just get the green frog tape. Because honestly, I've, I, I've never had to do any other hack, anything like that and I've always had a super clean line. So I'm just gonna stick to what I know and just tape it off and kind of just do the edging again. Which isn't a big deal, but just annoying that I didn't do that first time round. <laughs> He's like dying to come in this room. Um, yeah, and we've bought our carpet grippers to redo the flooring as well. I don't know if we'll get around to that in, in this video, but we shall see. Milo, you know you're not meant to, go on out you get. <laughs> you know you're not meant to be in here. Skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay. Caught us off guard, but there was no other way. Did you wait? Cause I've been counting the days, and I'm calling up to say. I'm coming home to you I'm coming home to you I'm coming home to you And I know that it's not home with you But I'm coming home Hold on to my embrace This time I promise it won't break I'm hoping that things haven't changed Life took us far apart but it took away my heart have you been holding it safe cause it's been hard
okay so here is where we are with the office so far we've um obviously as you can see touched up all the paint there around the radiator i redid the edging with the frog tape which is infinitely better it is so so much better um it's given a really nice crisp line i've learned my lesson there just to not like deviate from what i'm used to stick with the frog tape it's good um i took the tape off while it was still wet because i find that it's easier to take off when it's a little bit wet rather than leaving it to dry so the paint in here is still drying we may need to put a little bit more on just to the right like to the size of the radiator because um yeah it's really difficult to tell when it's wet whether it's covered or not but apart from that really really happy so we're gonna wait for this to dry and then we're gonna crack on with putting the skirting boards on <sighs> right guys i have honestly been the worst at vlogging this so um we have put the skirting boards on the reason i haven't been really vlogging stuff like that is because i want to remind you guys that this is the first time that we've done a lot of this stuff so i feel like i really need to concentrate on what i'm doing but obviously we're going to be doing a lot more skating boards in the whole house so if that is something that you are interested in watching and seeing the process then leave me a comment let me know um, and i could definitely share that in the future so where we are now with the room is the skating boards are on i have got another needy puppy here um i've corked around the edges that is just drying so i'm going to give that a couple of um licks of paint today next step is we're going to try and tackle the carpet so make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to follow along for more content um but i'm going to sign this video off here lots more coming we're so so close with it now this room is taking forever but i can like see the finish line now so yeah hopefully we'll be styling the room up properly very very soon another little shout out don't forget to go check out 24 7 blinds i'll leave the discount code here again everything will be linked down in the description box it'll be great to see those up very very soon but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one